Hi guys, Knights here, how's everyone doing? Welcome to my channel. In this guide I'm going to show you how to actually get one of the coolest and rare mounts in the entire World of Warcraft, the Time Lost Protodrake. Why actually? Well, there are plenty of guides teaching you uh, the fly paths, spawn timers, macro strategies and whatnot, but mostly they are aimed for the group farming. And if you are solo, you need to follow just a few simple rules. If you find the time loss protodrake with the wrong strategy, you will lose a lot of time. In this guide, I'm going to show you how to increase chances to get the mount and how not to waste hundreds of hours farming the time lost protodrake. Before we start, don't forget to hit the like button on this video if it's helpful and press the subscribe button. Hell, <laughs> even when the video is not helpful, it's for free, so who cares? Now basics first. In the Storm Peaks in Northrend is spawning the rare dragon Viragoza. This dragon has spawn timer 6 hours. This timer starts half hour after it was killed or if it's skinned, the spawn timer starts immediately. After 6 hours it spawns again and it has 10% chance to be spawned as the time lost proto drake. So to note this, the time lost proto drake is the epic spawn of the rare, rare uh, monster or dragon Viragoza. And this 10% we need, cause only time lost Proto Drake has the 100% chance to drop the reins of the time lost Proto Drake. The Drake can spawn on 4 spawn points as you see here in this gameplay. Pay attention where I land and one of those 4 positions there are, there are exact positions you need to camp. So, if you don't follow some basic rules, uh, you can spend years farming him and you will find nothing. I was lucky, lucky, <laughs> I got him in few days, but only after I developed a strategy to get him. So these are the rules. Pay close attention to them and follow them if you want to get the mount. So first of all, the absolute rule. If there are no players camping on any spawn point, that means that the drake was killed some time ago. So camping there is a waste of time. There is nothing like, oh, no one is here, let's farm it. No, 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 no. This will never happen. The drake is farmed 24-7, 365. So if you don't see any pliers there, don't waste your time. This is very important. If you don't see any players there, he was killed like, I don't know, few minutes or maybe hours ago. If you don't know how far in the past it was killed, check back every hour. If you see players appearing on the spots, and they will be because they are farming it the whole damn day, find yourself one, find yourself one of the non-occupied spawns and be prepared to stay there for a few hours. Netflix helps. It's handy to have NPC scan Eden installed so you can see him when he spawned and killed so you don't waste your time. Just google it and you can easily find macros to locate any NPC that spawned. If it was killed by other player, go away and come back late, preferably 5 hours later so you can catch your spot. Remember don't camp the spot that is already occupied. It's common courtesy and you don't want any other player to camp your spot too. In few seconds you will see how the karma works. Of course, World of Warcraft is full of idiots and as you see on my gameplay the Alliance Druid is occupying my spot. So definitely he has no honor. So I decided to fly to the another spot and I got the drop. If the druid was not an idiot and he did not camp spot already occupied, 
And he is on the wrong position, by the way. He could fly to the open spot where I flew and found the drake. So he just lost the drop by his stupidity and lack of honor. So forget the fly parts. This is very rare that the, drag, that the drake is not killed on a spawn. So don't leave the spawn point. Camp only where there are, no, there are other players and you are certain that he was not killed like an hour ago. And be patient. As I mentioned, Netflix helps a lot. And now how to kill him? As you see in my gameplay, I use the lightning shield, which does damage without me attacking him, so I was molted while I killed him. Basically, stay on a spot and be prepared to strike him down. I'm not a macro guy, but if you want, you can check internet for macros how to locate him, how to locate him and attack him at once. If you are mounted, fly into, uh, fly into him and even when you are level 110, you will get aggro if you are flying inside him or like close to him. With ability like Lightning Shield, you can easily kill him when he attacks you. If you don't have ability, if your character doesn't have ability that passively um, damages enemies, in Storm Peaks you can purchase the Snow Snowfall Lager. Uh, after you drink snowfall, snowfall lager, uh, you will be able to, to fall very slowly. So your fall will be slowed down and in that fall you will be able to attack and kill the drake in mid-air. Don't be discouraged if you don't get him in the first few days. Some people are farming him the whole life. So check every few hours and I'm pretty sure you will eventually have your sweet time-loss proto-drake. This is a long farm, but the result is worth it. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and comment. If you want to see more WoW content, subscribe. And if you, if you don't, go and subscribe. It's for free, so who cares? Thanks for watching, and as and always, have a good one. Bye bye.